the topic today is the climate when we talk about the word generally climate we often get confused with the words climate and weather there is a lot of difference between the words we generally use them as synonyms but at a specific point or at a given place when we talk about the atmospheric condition of a place that is known as weather for example when we are talking about the atmospheric condition of a place of today or tomorrow or yesterday at a specific point at a given period of time is called as weather weather describes an atmospheric condition of a place it can be relatively hot or cold or humid or rainy or different patterns of the atmosphere but it is for a very short period of time that is called weather when we talk about the word climate climate refers to the condition the sum total of the condition means the average weather condition of a place which is estimated studied thoroughly for a long period of time when i say it's a long period of time i mean here an average of 30 years of time is being taken into consideration before coming into conclusion of any particular place climatic condition so the atmospheric condition of a place which has been studied for a very long period of time under continuous observation and finally we come into the consensus stating that what is a climatic condition of a place so here weather refers to a short period of time while climate refers to a long period of time generally it is observed for 30 years of period so the people those who study about the weather of a place is called meteorologist while those who study about climate are called as climatologist so that's about the introduction of the lesson now we have certain agents which do influence the climate and the weather of a place what are the agents generally are the temperature the precipitation the wind the humidity and the seasons these five are the important agents of weather which change the atmospheric condition of a place now moving on to understand about our country that is india what is a climatic condition of india it is appropriate to say that in india we have a monsoon type of climatic condition generally this type of climatic condition exists in the southern part and the southern eastern parts of any hemisphere so as uh, latitudinally india falls towards the eastern side and the northern eastern side of uh, sorry the southeastern side of the asian continent so we can rightly assume that india has the monsoon type of climatic conditions and understanding about the monsoon type of climatic condition or the climatic condition of india we need to remember that though india has generally a common phenomena of climatic condition but still it has perceptible regional variations so when we talk about temperature when we talk about precipitation in the perspective of temperature and in the perspective of uh, precipitation we find some notable changes some notable variations in the climatic condition of india so let us take an examples where do we find the variations of climate with respect to temperature and with special focus on precipitation now as i mentioned earlier we shall look at the perspective from the temperature first let us take in summer the temperatures in rajasthan reaches up to a height of 50 degrees while pahalgam in jammu and kashmir is recorded as 20 degrees celsius while in the winter in jammu and kashmir you have minus 45 degrees celsius recorded at the dras sector while 22 degrees in the tiruvananthapuram of kerala so the temperature keeps varying from place to place though these all are parts of the same country and generally have the common phenomena but still they have perceptible regional variations this is in temperature now let us look from the 
perspiration point of view the perspiration varies in meghalaya it is 400 cm per year while moving to ladakh and the western rajasthan it is 10 cm which means very very less and generally in the entire nation we have rains falling from june to september while tamil nadu experiences rains from october to november so here also we can notice the variations are different different places and this brings to us the knowledge that the climatic conditions vary from east to west as we move in the northern plains from east to west we get the rainfall been decreasing in the similar way the temperatures are varying from place to place this started to show its impact on the people's lives housing food habits and all these things so now let us learn in detail how the climate gets varied from place to place and what are the factors that are actually affecting and bringing the changes in this same country but getting variations from place to place if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus